You got a toy on her? Where are you going? Where's your buddy? Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. It's a beautiful day in February in Minnesota. Unbelievable. Gonna be another awesome day. So far this winter, I'm tempted to call it spring, but this winter has just been unbelievably mild for the most part. Our snow is all melted again. There she is. So the weather is awesome. We have corn to haul, not snow to haul, like I accidentally said in one of the previous videos, but we've got, we got trucks to run. They have all three been sitting for more than a couple of weeks, and I know that this one needs a little bit of energy. And the other two are good. So I'm gonna fire one of these up, probably check the tires first, and then see the yard is gonna be muddy. Just too nice out there for it not to be muddy. That's what I was worried about. That guy right there. That one probably needs a patch or a plug or something. Tires are good. Just gotta prop the, uh, get the hood up now, check the oil. Right up against the door, so I don't wanna scratch it. All good. Oh, come on. This one gets fussy like that. For whatever reason, this one gets real fussy like that when it's cold, sometimes, not all the time. Why? Why does it do that? Everything looks nice and clear in here. Should be ready to fill with corn. Now as muddy as it is, I hope we can get around in the yard with empty trucks. It's gonna just get muddier and muddier this week. Next week looks cold enough that it's gonna kinda stay frozen, but I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird winter. The east wind has really picked up, so that's gonna make it nice. It's gonna take all the bees wings directly into the house. So that'll be nice. I'm gonna go a little bit scatterbrained on you here and jump to something else for a minute. That 8320 back there, the one we've been using for planter and grain cart, we are trading. So the dealer wants some pictures of that thing so they can get it listed. And since it's like 40 degrees out, I'm just gonna open this big door and let some light get in here and let this place air out. She was all cleaned up before we parked it here, but everything gets a little bit dusty in the dirt floor shop. Okay, pictures are taken and sent. Now I can go load that truck. Anybody have any guesses as to what we're trading that for? Now let's fire this system up, which we have not run for quite some time. Okay, clean outs are in. So that's good. Let's hit the button and hope there's no noises and eventually I will fall on my butt today on this ice. Okay, no noise, no noise. Seems smooth, Didge likes it. Well, what bin should I take out of first? Let's go with the new one, mostly just because. needs to go that's why I only ran it for a few seconds so that was a test I was able to confirm that the distributor is not set to the correct spout no big deal it was just set to put a little bit more into the wet bin behind me here which is full of dry corn anyway so I put 10 bushels on top of it no problem now we are set to Nope, I went the wrong way. Jeez. Now we're set to the driveway. What did you find under there? Is there a friend? Get it. Get it. Okay, let's try it again. Leg is on. Conveyor. Oh, 
asphalt. Well, it's loading here. I should mention that we are selling our grain dryer. It's a 2010, obviously a souk up, 24 foot. It's got 3,300 hours on it. Uh, three phase LP. We're asking 75,000 for it. We can help you get it on a trailer or get it on wheels for you if someone wants to come pick it up. Shoot me an email if you're actually interested. Remember how clean this truck was 10 minutes ago? Well, that's a third of the truck loaded so far. I should have driven it in from the other direction. Ow. Okay. Well, sounds good. Enjoy yourself. Okay, yeah, thanks, Jim. Bye. Lots of people asking how Jim is doing. Just talk to him. He's actually on vacation right now with the family. Why is it so blurry? What's going on? There we go. Anyway, Jim's on vacation. He's doing well. I know things are sore. He's slow moving yet, but he is recovering. He had more than just the initial surgery he was planning on. There were some complications, some stuff that went on. He had to have a couple of extra surgeries, but uh, he is recovering now, so he's doing, doing all right. Hopefully, we'll see him out here this spring. My guts are starting to get a little bit hungry, so before I take off here, I'm gonna go grab some AG1. It might be a beautiful day here, all things considered, but it's still that time of the year where the temperatures fluctuate up and down. It's, it's still cold weather season. It gets a little bit more difficult to maintain your health sometimes. Luckily, AG1 supports your mental and your physical health by supporting your whole body through foundational nutrition. So it supports everything. It really raises your baseline health up it just makes you feel better, both, like I say, physically and mentally. And it's a scientifically driven approach, I guess you could say, which is way above my head. I've been drinking this stuff now for probably a year, year and a half, and I think it gives me better mental clarity, and uh, I think it helps me recover from my workouts faster. Plus, it supports my immune system and my gut health, and it tastes good. So all you gotta do is mix one scoop, or a travel pack with eight ounces of water on the go. If you're interested at all in trying it for yourself, all you gotta do is go to drinkag1.com slash millennial farmer and you're gonna get a free welcome kit, which includes a canister, a shaker, a free year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, plus five extra travel packs of AG1. So you can't go wrong. Drinkag1.com slash millennial farmer, there is a link below. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. As dirty as the front hopper makes it look because of the way the wind was blowing when I loaded the back one. Good to go. Now we scale it and dump it. For those who don't know, they test a little bit of the corn before we dump anything just to make sure the temperature's good and the quality's good. Check the test weight. That way they get the information on what exactly we're bringing in here so that we don't, uh, well, for two reasons. Number one, so we don't dump a bad crop into their grain bin. And number two, so they know exactly what they're taking and what they're gonna pay us for. If it's full of too much foreign material, or like too ground up, they can, uh, they can dock us for it or they can actually reject it also. Weight is all good, right on the money, just like every other single load. That bin is still not completely clear in the center, so the corn is a little bit dirtier than, than it will be in a few more loads. But it's good cold corn, so that's good. It looks, looks good. Having a dump, leaving a dump? We're not taking one. Dropping, releasing a load, dropping a load? We better just stick with unloading corn. Weight coming in versus weight coming out, and we get our total bushels. Oh no. Oh dear. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's all burned up. It's been sitting here all winter. I honestly don't know whose it is, but it's not going anywhere under its own power.
10 minutes to load out of that one bin. So I think I think that's pretty good. That wasn't wide open either. I think we needed to change a pulley or something on the on the grain pump. And then uh, I think we can speed that up. I think we can get that down a little bit quicker on that new bin. But for now, I'm gonna park this inside. I'm just gonna make the one run today. And I'm going to swap a truck and trailer and hopefully fill another one. It's that time of year where I'm alone most of the time. So things just go a little bit slower. But we got a trailer with a little bit of damage to it I want fixed. And then we got a truck that needs a couple things fixed also. But obviously, or not obviously, but of course they're not connected to one another. So I want to take that trailer and put it on that truck back there and take this truck and put it on the other trailer behind this one. So this one's had the charger on it most of the day. It should fire right up. Like I always say though, I've been wrong before. No issue. I did check oil and tires on this one earlier, so I'm not too worried about it. I do still need to check oil on this one. We need some washer fluid, but the oil is good. the 45 degree situation. Man, it seems like it takes forever to do that with just one person. You know, earlier I climbed up the truck and looked in to make sure they were empty because I forgot I had these. I also forgot there was some corn in there. Huh. Completely forgot about that. I do know it's dry corn, so that's good. We're good there. Come on. Hauling corn can be a little bit monotonous and boring. At least you hope so, because if it's not, you probably have issues. Two more loaded for tomorrow. We've got a meeting with the agronomist to go over our crop plan, make sure we agree on our seed placement and our chemical program. All right, that meeting is over. It's a close to a two hour meeting. Basically what we do is we go through our entire crop plan here. I let him know the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, um, the seed. The seed that we're using. We break that down, put it on the best fields to, to match the soil type. We talk about a fertilizer plan, what we're using for fertilizer, uh, everything. Everything you can imagine as far as just organizing what field is supposed to get what and, and what the best way is to efficiently use all of our inputs in the best way. One of the things we talked about was this Inhabit P uh, from FBN. It's a farmer's first product. I'm actually going to look at using this as a replacement to our starter fertilizer, which we haven't used any starter fertilizer for quite a while because we didn't see a super consistent good return on it. But this year, uh, the new planter we have coming is going to have the new exact shot system on it. And so we're looking at what acres should get starter fertilizer and how to kind of balance like a normal 1034 with this Inhabit P product. There's always a lot of different stuff that comes out, new things that hit the market and you gotta try to figure out what's worth it, what's not, you know, what new technology works and what's just another new sales pitch. And just a mention on FBN, obviously I'm not a livestock guy. We haven't had livestock since I was 10 years old and that was right here where I stand. Not this building, obviously, but in this location, we had cattle and hogs. But FBN is into livestock. They're doing some cool stuff now, it sounds like, with their Profectus feed. 
Uh, it's, balanced as, it's balanced differently as far as the amino acids and the energy. Supposedly they're finding some really good efficiency that's leading to some big returns. So check out uh, FBN if you're a livestock farmer out there, check into their Profectus feeds. They've been a big supporter of uh, what I do here with Millennial Farmer for a long time. Well, I think that's it. I think I'm done with the camera for today. I'm not done doing things. I'm just done with the camera for today. So stick around in one of my next videos. I'm gonna try that side draw on that new bin. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Remember to keep it between the rows and don't let the cyst nematodes bite. Nematodes are a pest that attacks soybeans from below the ground. It's, it's, a, it's a farmer joke. <laughs> One more quick thing here, everybody. If you are looking for the perfect Valentine's gift for that special, probably woman in your life, she's probably wanting some Millennial Farmer apparel. So whether you're looking for a hoodie like I got here, you can get this in a t-shirt, a cap also. We got all kinds of things. We got these cool black leather patch hats and we got these high quality stainless steel tumblers, all kinds of stuff, everything on the site, 15% off through February 14th when you use the code LOVEAG. AG, like agriculture, not like agriculture, like we say in Minnesota. But wait, there's more. Everything you order from my site through Farm Focus, it's all linked below. Uh, whether you get, no matter what you get, anything over $20, which includes Randy the Master Pipe Layer Apparel, by the way, anything over $20, you're gonna get a free 2024 calendar. So you're always gonna know what day it is. And all these photos are pictures that I've taken and posted throughout the year. So, uh, you know, head over there. It's linked below. 15% off and a free calendar. I mean, it's on sale. Get as much as you can.